Welcome to another Watercolor Wednesday, everybody. Today we're getting in the St. Patrick's Day spirit and we are painting two different St. Patrick's Day cards that you can give to your friends and family if you celebrate the holiday. So for this first card, um, you're going to start off by just taping the center of the card because that's where we're going to write our St. Patrick's Day greeting. And you're just going to create a bunch of these clovers using various shades of green. So here you can see a close-up, real-time version of exactly what I'm doing. You're applying three or four pigmented dots to wherever you want the center of your clover to be. And then you're uh, clearing your brush so that there's just a little bit of water on the brush and dragging the dot out to create basically uh, the leaves of your clovers or flowers, <laughs> however you want to interpret this design. Here you can see me just doing or showing you another example using a slightly different color of green. And you want to paint these flowers so that they are sort of on, on different levels or heights. Um, and you want to paint them in a circular shape so that when you do peel the tape off, it sort of looks like a perfect round circle of these clovers and it just adds symmetry to the card. I also want to take a moment guys to ask you to subscribe to my channel if you're enjoying this video because I do put out two videos a week and also consider hitting the like button because it helps me grow my channel and create even more tutorials and videos for you all. You can add even more detail by flicking some green um, dots onto your card and later on I even added some uh, black details in the center of the clovers, uh, little petals and, and lines just to add complexity to the card. And once you've peeled the tape off you can also add your holiday greeting. So I chose the, the classic Happy St. Patrick's Day and I first used pencil uh, to make sure that I had enough room on the card for all the letters to fit. And that's all for the first card. So for the second card, we're going for a bit of a, a simple look, and if you've seen any of my Christmas cards or my Valentine, Valentine's Day cards, we created a very similar look, and I just think it's classic, it's pretty, and it's really, really easy. So again, you're going to use different shades or colors of green and create nine identical rectangles across your piece of paper. You can even pencil the shapes in beforehand like I did to make sure that they're all centered. And once they have completely dried, you're going to take a black permanent marker or fine tip pen and just draw on whatever designs you would like in the rectangles. So on three of the squares diagonally, I wrote St. Patrick's Day and then on the others, I just did some random doodles. And that's it for that card. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today, everybody. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, like my video, and I hope you have a wonderful day.